If you would love to hear the energies associated with the first quarter of the moon cycle, keep watching. Welcome back to another episode. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing because I make videos every Wednesday and Sunday. Now these videos are all about helping you release your blockages and how you can vibrate on the frequency of love with angel guidance. Now during this first quarter of the moon, this is all about taking action. And I have a beautiful visual cue from my friend Joe from the moon underscore journal on Instagram. This is all about taking action. I actually block out four days on my calendar every time we just go into the first quarter. And these are my content creation days. This is where I create my products um, or I refine my surfaces, but this is like the best time um, during the moon cycle to take action. So, have I told you which dates this is? It's from the 25th to the 28th of January. Now it depends on where you are in the world. It could be, um, because I'm in Australia, this could be maybe a day later for you. Um, yeah, so you're welcome to look that up. So let's have a look. We're gonna be using the angel guidance from Doreen Virtue and let's just see what we need to know during this time of taking action. All right, what do my beautiful MK Love fam like we've already got three cards one two and then three okay we got this one again this card came up in the last part oh okay so it looks like that we still need to work on letting go of this blockage because the angels are saying it's hard for it's hard for them to formulate you um, taking action when you're still holding on to something that no longer serves you so what comes up in your subconscious as soon as you see this card? Okay. We got the same card again. I did shuffle these. We got steady progress again. It's interesting because we're still in the new moon in Capricorn energy. So this is crazy that we've got two cards that literally appeared on the previous reading. Let me just see if the third card is different. Oh, it is. Thank God. <laughs> Okay, as I said before, slow and steady wins the race. You know, when you let go of something, you know, this is something that it takes time to release a blockage. The way you can do that is by um, having a look on my YouTube channel, maybe selecting a, a chakra guided meditation, um, or if you'd like to delve straight into forgiveness, you're welcome to purchase my Forgiveness Heals Guided Visualization. It's a 30 minute guided visualization where I literally talk you through, like I, I'm literally like holding your hand because this is a pretty traumatic time. And I just let you know, it's like, it's okay, my love, I'm here to help you. And it's a very powerful meditation because in that you will actually hear me get a little teary as I'm picturing the person in which I'm trying to forgive. So if you're going through a difficult time right now, just know that it, it is literally preparing you for what you have asked for in the future. You may not understand it right now. And you're like, Mel, the shit's literally hit the fan. I'm, I'm homeless or I'm running out of money or my partner's just left me or whatever. And your angels are saying they're preparing you to make you a stronger person, to make you literally be like, it's like they're helping you flex that self-love muscle and putting your trust in the universe because that is a truly beautiful thing. In regards to the steady progress, it's interesting because like check out the pictures. It's like um, these two are like focused and then this one's like, no, nah, I'm not really interested in this. But you know, she's in a straight line, you know, she's all dressed, she's all ready to go, but she's like, I'm not quite there yet, but that's okay. Also, there's a symbolism of like the three. Three could be the Trinity, um, being that you are di divinely protected from the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, you know? Um, Oh, what comes up for you when you see that one? The final card that we got is focus on service, which is perfect for this time, which is about taking action, um, focusing on serving your audience, focus on, um, it could be like serving yourself, your higher self, meditating. Um, if you're an entrepreneur, then this could totally be like doing the like a lot of planning during this time, um, creating those products. If this is something, um, I just get business focus. Um, or if you don't have your own business, maybe this is, um, 
focusing on your self-love practices like well, everyone needs to focus on the self-love practices it's it's hard to get a, too much of a gist because this is a general reading if you want more detailed clarity then you need to book yourself a private reading so it says your soul desires only to joyfully serve and just swim in a constant stream of bliss this stream continuously feeds you everything you need Woo. Put your entire focus upon staying in the stream and giving and receiving in every situation in all that you do. So this also feeds into the new moon in Capricorn reading, which is focusing on balance. Now, I know in that reading, it spoke a lot about your health being very, very important during this time. Um, what else did it say? Yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. What came up for you, my loves? I'm so excited to hear. So, it's all about let go of your past. What doesn't serve you anymore? Know that slow and steady wins the race. You know, you just if you are not willing to forgive right now, um, you could just say, I am willing to forgive. Not, not like I will forgive or I am learning to forgive. It's just changing the words out to see what feels best for you and, and what doesn't feel like resistance in your vibration because the last thing you need to do is to be paddling upstream focus on service I feel like this is like the card that basically sums up everything that we need to know also stay tuned because I have a very special video we have an eclipse that is occurring on the 31st so I'll make a video an extra video to help you deal with the energies associated with this time if you have enjoyed this reading, can you please let me know by giving me a thumbs up? That would be amazing. If you have any questions or any comments that you would love to share about what came up in this reading, please let me know below because I would absolutely love to hear from you. And if you haven't already, please hit that bell button and subscribe so you never miss another episode. I'll see you soon. Goodbye, my loves.